This is Fight Club. Today we are going to watch a point karate gal fight a supposed male street fighter. While it's an old video that's been around a while, there are still some valuable lessons that we can take away from it. Here we go. Ooh, Fight Club. Now, I was always told that uh, the first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. I think that was the second rule as well. Ooh, ferocious tornado kick. All right. Okay, he's got seven inches of height and about 50 pounds on her. <laughs> Karate Girl vs. Street Fighter. Never seen a Street Fighter throw a tornado kick before, but this is Fight Club. Okay, yeah, there's that classic point fighter stance and guard that she has. And by guard, I mean no guard at all. <laughs> but she does have a good stance. She's got a wide, quick stance. Okay, she's quick. Seeing something I don't like. Uh, he, on the other hand, he's pretty slow. He's flat-footed. He walks instead of using footwork. That means she's going to be a lot quicker than him. He might be able to make that up some other way, but we'll find out. I really like how she's keeping her distance. Look at that feint she threw. She's testing his reaction. She's trying to figure out the best timing to go in. I mean, you'll almost never have this much time in a real fight, but hey, this is Fight Club. Good movie, by the way. Just keeping her distance. Uh-huh, look at that. Look at her move back when he comes in. She's controlling the distance. She's controlling the pace. Okay, there's that thing I was talking about. There's something she keeps doing that I don't like because she's a point fighter. She loses her stance in order to score a point. She clearly does the sport karate point fighting. Once you score a point, the ref stops the action and resets the fighters. Um, you're going to see her lose her, her balance by squaring up with uh, narrow feet and, and kind of turning her whole body in order to land the rear punch. She's losing her stance. This is a, a really bad habit in the street where lots of wild chaos punches will be happening before, during, and after you land your strike. Now this hasn't affected her yet. Uh, let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, see what I mean by her stance? She's got a, like a very sideways kind of stance, but when she turn, throws her punch, she turns her whole body forward instead of keeping her stance. Not so much her jab, but definitely on her rear hand cross. Okay. I mean, this guy looks like someone who practices techniques but has never actually done any kind of training against resistance because he doesn't know how to, how to do anything. Oh, well, a lot of missed opportunities there for the flat-footed guy. He had a hold of her. He, sh he, he missed out. She's just back in her game, keeping her distance again. She clearly competes in point fighting. Oh, man. <laughs> Good timing here. She saw him telegraph a kick. And before he had a chance to launch it, she hopped in with a punch. So, of course, he telegraphed the crap out of it and dropped his hands while he kicked, uh, which is a very bad beginner mistake that I hope all of you can learn from. Here's a couple rules on kicks. If you want to do a kick, you should hide it with a punch. And then, as you kick, keep your hands up. Hmm... This is why you must train clinch fighting. This guy did nothing other than just run her over. If she knew how to clinch fight, she could have prevented this takedown. Yeah. 
that. <laughs> okay. Uh, he could easily throw her feet to the side and get a side mount on her. Um, ideally, she would have one foot on the ground and the other foot would be chambered ready to kick, that she could just fire that kick out. Um, she can fire out a, a powerful thrust kicks and retract them quickly so that it's really uh, hard and kind of dangerous for him to grab a hold of. Okay, so that kick to the face it didn't really do much because it was a smack with the ball of the foot. Um, a thrusting kick with the heel would have been a bit more effective. Now also, uh, I'm not sure, it's, it's probably against the rules that they agreed to, but ladies, uh, from this position, kick him in the testicles. That's your best target. After you kick the testicles, the face would come down, and then you could thrust kick your heel right into their face, which will hopefully make them move backwards, which creates enough space and time for you to quickly get back to your feet. <laughs> he let her go. Okay. Okay. Uh, once again, see, he walked right through her hook. Um, when you have a significant size disadvantage, it becomes less likely that you will be able to generate enough power to hurt your opponent. This is why sport martial arts have weight and gender classes. Um, now, if she would have struck him in the eyes, Instead of a, a, a punch to the jaw, if she would have went pow and smacked him in the eyes, he, he would have likely dropped to the ground uh, and then she'd be able to, to, to uh, run away or maybe soccer kick him in the face or get to a weapon. Uh, yeah, she got, she got smacked there. I mean, her saving grace here is that he just he doesn't know how to fight. He's not very aggressive um, because he is starting to land strikes but mostly because she doesn't have any, any defensive guard, there's no head movement, uh, and most importantly, she, she doesn't know how to fight from a clinch. <laughs> what is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> what? Slap! Once again, she's quick and easily avoids his telegraphed strikes. Once again, she scored a point, but it's not powerful enough to hurt him and she has no follow-up. But if that was an eye strike, that would have been really good. That punch to the body's not gonna do anything to him. Dude, you had a hold of her, you let her go. Hey look, I'd say he hits like a girl, but that's an insult to women. All jokes aside, he has a solid hold on her gi. She is trying to push away, but that is just inadvertently just keeping her in the range for him to be able to hit her repeatedly. So the lesson here is that if your clothes or your hair gets grabbed, then you should immediately go into like a tie clinch or some other type of clinch to nullify their grab and get out of that optimal like range where you can just be hockey punched. Okay, once again, she does an outside leg kick against a guy that is 50 pounds heavier than her uh, and she dropped her hands. And it's just not gonna do enough damage and she pays for it by getting punched twice in the face. Look, in sports like Muay Thai, they land tons of shin kicks to the leg and it makes the other person start to slow down in the latter rounds. This isn't good for street fighting, especially against someone who's bigger than you, who has the structural integrity to take those kinds of blows and walk through them. And, and, and don't let any kind of like clickbait TikTok videos tell you anything otherwise. I love how she's controlling the distance. It's her biggest attribute. She uses it well. I mean, she gets to engage when she wants to. And 
disengage. Look how fast she is and her ability to use her footwork. If she was just targeting the testicles with those kicks, this fight would be over. And that could have been an ice strike. That fight could have been over. That could have been an ice strike. That could have been an ice strike. Might have missed on that one. Yes, uh, when a guy rushes in, be able to move like this. Yes, yes, yes. Train footwork every session. That could have been an ice strike. <laughs> That could have been a nice strike. <laughs> uh, he is so frustrated because she won't just freaking stand still and let him hit her. He doesn't know what to do. When you're facing a faster opponent like her, then you need to keep your distance and lure them in. Wait for them to make the commitment to, to, to lunge in at you and then you can rush in and then you can either clinch them up or take them to the ground to get them away from their strength, which in this case is speed. Bruce Lee said, be water. This is why you can't just train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or just train Muay Thai or boxing or Taekwondo or Wing Chun or any other limited style that's only striking or only grappling or only whatever. You need to be well-rounded so you have different options in case your favorite way to fight is a bad matchup to your opponent. There's that great distance and ability to read her opponent again. She's a good fighter in lunging range. If she was hitting eyes and testicles, she, this dude would be on the ground. She is quick. There's that chance right there. He knocked her off balance. That's the chance, and, and he didn't take it, and he let her get back into her game. There we go right there. As mentioned previously, she's been knocked off balance because when she attacks, she loses her stance. She switches from that, well, she, well, she switches her lead a lot, but I think she had a left lead, and she came in and squared up with her rear cross. If you don't maintain your stance, then this is the result. What you need to do is learn to hit while moving and maintaining your stance. Takes reps. Are you willing to work on it? Oh, also, he's not capitalizing on his chance to go get her while she's knocked down. Uh, he has no killer instinct. He let her back up. Go get her, dude. What are you doing? Another ice strike that could have been. Instead, it was a little jab that did nothing to him. Punch to the face that did nothing. And there's another potential eye jab. Put your weight on her. Pin her down. What are you doing? Let her back up. Now she's back in her game plan. And there's another potential eye strike. <laughs> I've, I've never played any, like... Mortal Kombat video game thing with a character that had a more annoying <laughs> voice. <laughs> yes, the fight was, was uh, too long and there was no winner, and we are in fact all losers from having watched that. Let's review some key takeaways so your fight game can level up. First off, from this video, you can clearly see that a quicker person with great footwork has a huge advantage by fighting on the outside in lunging range. Some untrained street thugs, they don't work on footwork. They can't track you with accurate, powerful strikes while moving. So if you're willing to put in the work to learn to hit and move and keep your stance, you have an enormous advantage. Now, obviously, you might get into a fight in close or tight spaces, so you also need to be able to fight in close quarters as well. Ladies, when you're fighting a guy, or rather defending yourself against a larger, stronger, heavier man, Please don't attack areas of the body that are tough, like the legs or the body. Instead, go for vulnerable targets, such as the eyes, the throat, and the testicles. 
If you go uh, for strikes to the, the head, the solar plexus, or the knees, you need to be able to generate a lot of power. This gal is highly skilled, and she could not generate enough power to hurt this guy. And granted, she weighs 108 pounds. So once again, this gal is clearly a point karate fighter. So after a point is scored, the ref will stop the action and reset the fighters. And, and while this has built some really good qualities in her, it's built speed and timing and, and really quick strikes, it's also built some really bad habits, such as her losing her stance when she goes to throw that rear hand, keeping her guard down when she strikes, right? And not following up with multiple strikes. In a real fight, your opponent is gonna be like wild chaos swinging at you. And it's gonna be, you know, nuts. You need to find a way to protect yourself. The way you can protect yourself, one of the ways is by keeping distance. Another one is by keeping your guard up. Another one is by moving to their outside, right? Moving to their back. Another one would be like just straight blasting down their center line and overwhelming them with too many things to react to. And ultimately getting yourself into a clinch where you pull them in and they just like don't know how to hit you from a clinch and even taking them to the ground potentially. But you can't just like ha -ha! hit them and then stop with your hands down and your stance off balance because you're, you're gonna get clocked. Once you get an advantage, you must capitalize on it. Killer instinct is one of the reasons why lesser skilled fighters can defeat more skilled fighters. Bruce Lee once said something to the effect of, uh, one of the differences between an amateur and a pro is that a pro doesn't miss out on their opportunities. Folks, I hope you liked today's video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments below what one of your biggest lessons learned from this video was. Until next time, go get your reps, level up your skill.